materialized exactly as we expected. Um, a little bit of everything and it made the sidewalks your driveways. I had a tough time at 11 o'clock last night trying to get up my driveway into my house. Uh, it was that slick already and I just knew by the morning hours it was not going to be pretty. We still have the winter weather advisory until six o'clock. That is because of the slick roads and we still have the evening commute going, but the precipitation has pretty much come to an end. We've had three rounds of it. The mid morning to early afternoon round was expected to be the worst and it was we had some very heavy sleet and did you look at the temperature at that time it was like in the mid 20s and it was sleeting it, it can't even snow when it's in the mid 20s uh, but that did help us with the ice it gave us a little bit of like a uh, sand like grit on the ice to give you some traction a little slushy as well all that though is going to be freezing back up tonight so watch out even though the precipitation may just be some flurries now the roads are still going to be very slick. The last seven days have been more like mid to late March 50s a couple of times, teens and 20s on Saturday, and now the downward slide with the temperature. Once again, we were 35 earlier today in Milwaukee. We were 31 just an hour ago. Now we're 21. You can see the ice on the trees, the rooftops, sidewalks look a little glaze as well. Now with the colder temperatures rolling in, that slush is going to start to refreeze tonight and just make sure you're aware of that as well. It's also getting windy behind that cold front. Winds of 20 to 30. Wind chills are in the single digits across most of southeastern Wisconsin, and it will be a cold night. So watch out for that ice reforming on those streets that were just wet during the day. The, the, the main streets were just in fantastic shape. Kudos to the uh, crew out there. It's going to be cold for the rest of the week, and then we're watching a couple of storm systems. Could see some lake effect snow tomorrow night, but then this storm system down in Denver looks to be bringing us uh, a pretty good chance for snow, which should make Carol and I happy uh, for the next week or so. Temperatures tonight dropping into the single digits and teens tomorrow. Starting off sunny, clouds increase only in the 20s, and wind chills in the morning will be about 2 below in Kenosha to 10 below in Fond du Lac. And during the day, we only have wind chills in the single digits. We will see those lake effect snow showers tomorrow night, and then a better chance for snow on Thursday night into Friday. That could be 2 to 4 inches of snow. That could be one of our biggest snowfalls of the season. 26 on Friday, 34 on Saturday, 28 on Sunday. We'll be right back.